You're watching 101. We're talking with the royal photographer in the United Arab Emirates, Noor Ali Rashid. Let's look at some of your defining moments. You've, of course, in 60 years as a photographer, met some uh, amazing people. Let's get your take on some of the ones you met over the years. Um, Yasser Arafat, you've seen him since his early days. Um, what was he like when you dealt with him as a photographer? I, all the time, I found it. I, I, I thought he was, uh, in the early age, he, he was, uh, you know, in, in the early days, till, till he was not too much, when, when he, he was not in Palestine, before Palestine, I always found him, he was always, you know, he remember you, he talked to you, he, you know, give you good uh, face. But uh, after the, the, you know, the, there was, a, the, he went to Palestine, and uh, then he used to come to visit Sheikh Zayed, and uh, I found he's changed. He changed a lot. Maybe he has more responsibility and more, uh, you know, less friendly, less accommodating. You mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Muhammad Ali, the boxer? Yes. Again, a boxer. I met him when he was here. He came here. With uh, with his uh, you know Alija Muhammad who was one of their uh, you know Muslim black Muslims leader, and then after that I met him in uh, during his uh, fight with uh, in Japan in seventies, and it is it was I went to Expo seventy and then later on I went seventy one with. Uh, our uh, petroleum uh, minister Manateba, and there was a f his, uh, you know, his, uh, his uh, boxing. So he won the boxing. He was a very energetic character, wasn't he? He, he was. He came to this, uh, 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 you know, hotel where I was also staying in uh, in Tokyo. So he came and celebrated his, uh, you know, win. So I took his pictures there. And also I took his picture whenever he came down. He was very friendly. He'd been always friendly. And after that also, he came once or twice to this place. And while I was very, very, very sorry when sad when he had this uh, Parkinson's disease. There are a number of world leaders, people like former US President Jimmy Carter, the former US President uh, Bill Clinton, uh, Prime Minister Edward Heath. How did you find these uh, political leaders? Believe me, these all leaders were very, very kind and nice people. But to me, beside my own nation leader, I, I, you know, for me, I say he was, he was number one, Sheikh Zayed. You know, in national. Very but dynamic, very dynamic. With dynamic international man. leaders. Yeah. I was very much impressed by Rajiv Gandhi. And he was so nice and kind and, you know, he even used his camera to take my picture and talk very politely, very nicely. When we, he came here with Sonia, I have lots and lots of pictures. Maybe one day I will donate them for the museum of Rajiv Gandhi, you know, that will be, it is my desire. But other than uh, you know, I took the picture of the Edward Heath. I traveled with him in the same plane from Dubai to to Abu Dhabi when there were no roads in uh, early, in early '60, and he was then not the prime minister. He was Lord Privy Hill. You like um, uh, you know you liked Rajiv Gandhi. Yes. What about the uh, the Indian actors, the Bollywood actors? You've met a lot of them. Amitabh Bachchan, Asha Bosley, the singer, um, the Kapoors, Rishi Kapoor, and people like this. How, how did you relate to the Indian characters, uh, the non-Western ones? Yes. In Indian, uh, you know, actors, the Raj Kapoor family had a very good relation, especially with the Raj Kapoor. He used to come with his wife, with his brother, uh, you know, and with his son, sometimes Rashi Kapoor, Randir Kapoor, and uh, his, uh, his brother and families. 
they always, you know, very, they were very close to me. And they used to come to see the cricket uh, matches, even, even Sanjay and, uh, you know, and uh, uh, Mit, 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 Mitan, Mit, uh, and, uh, and uh, recently I met, uh, you know, Shahrukh Khan. What about a good photograph? How you, do you define a good photograph? A good portrait, for example. Yes. You know, the photo technique is, is that one is have a lazy eye. He doesn't like that I take his eye, you know. But I have to balance that. In such an angle I take, that is not much different, you know. And then there is some uh, bald hair. Hair. He doesn't have hair here. I take on such a side uh, pose that he got more hair. So you so try he to like make it. <laughs> if it's a you know long uh, falcon nose, you know I take in such a way that his nose is uh, perfect. His ears, each and everything you have to see how the man look. He he is a short man. He like to be a bit. Uh, you know, Tall, uh, yeah. bigger than uh, his size. So you have to lean down. And if someone is very tall, you have to balance that. So this whole idea is, you know, upon your... Uh, and so you want people to look good. That's I the key. Yes, you want. I love the, the picture. Everybody wants his picture to be younger, to look younger, you know. And I wait till I see that his face is smiling, or if, if he's giving <laughs> too much smile, I tell, no, don't give me smile. If I see tooth are long, uh, bigger, I tell them, don't give me a big smile, you know, and all, see the lips, everything, every, you know, action of the body, not only you see in your camera, but before you see in your camera, you know, in your face first. So you look first before I you actually put it. Mm. First, somebody a double chin. They don't like, he look double chin. So you have to let him sit and take in that, that way. I have to make sure you take my picture in future. <laughs> Divide <laughs> my chins and my nose. But let me ask you, um, how, how do you view paparazzi photograph, uh, photographers, the ones who go and take the sneaky shots, you know, for the tabloids in countries like Britain? How do you view those photographers who don't want to make people necessarily look good, but get the sort of slightly raunchy pictures? Well, again, you know, the photographer are called photographer, photojournalist, and paparazzi, you know. It is a different type of photographers. There are photographers do, uh, who by hook or crook want to make money. You know, they break the privacy of the people and mostly like the, you know, the celebrities like Diana, like Prince Charles, or like uh, royal family members, or like any American celebrities in the Bollywood. They want to break the, the privacy. I don't believe in that. You've had lots of awards. You've spent an incredible life documenting the changes in the United Arab Emirates. What do you want to be remembered for? What do you hope your legacy will be? Well, you know, I know in the world <laughs> there is no such technology that if you do something good for, for any cause, you know, you will be remembered, is not such a technology. And I don't think anybody can, you know, invent a soul, invent such a system or of a mobile system or a fake system that in your you know, in, in your, uh, you know, uh, graveyard, you are being informed that, uh, you know, you have, you know, you, you have been remembered. Only thing when you go out, you know, you will be remembered by your good work you do for this country, humanitarian work. 
Nur Ali Rashid, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>